Hello, uh, I'm Leon, I'm an inventor and I did a good invention. Again, I, I, I did a lot of these uh, inventions, it's uh, all, uh, good ideas only. In theory, these inventions of mine can be uh, made, can be realized. Uh, so I giving the ideas. Uh, thanks to me, uh, you get a, get the good ideas and uh, without me, you sh maybe you wouldn't have found this idea, but maybe someone else, you know. Uh, but thanks to me, you have this these ideas of mine, and uh, if you can make, if you can realize those ideas, then you can split the profit. Thanks to me, you have 50%, so I gave away 50% of profit. But one of my ideas is an existing uh, invention already has been invented in uh, 16, between 1600 and 1700 after Christ. Uh, BC, I don't know. Uh, it's the Robert Boyle flask. This flask makes water circulate because the, the left side of the of the, the whole installation has the the flask itself with a hole in the bottom. Water is poured in it through a, a, a tube. The water comes in the flask again. Flask is the heaviest and the tube goes to the right side, the right side is the, the, the lightest. Uh, the most of the gravity is the gravity force is pressing on the flask, but the air pressure stops it. That's what I seen. I seen it on YouTube, many 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 videos that couldn't make this rubber ball flask uh, circulate the water. I think what's the secret of this? Flask of maybe the rubber ball didn't think of this. I'm surprised by this, uh, but you, you should test it in a vacuum room. That's my idea. A vacuum room. I didn't hear this on the on the YouTube, but that's I noticed for sure almost. But that's the situation in which this rubber ball flask will circulate the water. And if then the water is circulating in the vacuum room, then uh, you can put a, a water mill, a water wheel in it that is generating electricity. If it's made a little bit bigger, bigger like, uh, yeah, big enough to build it somewhere in your house to make the house's electricity be made by this uh, Perpetuum Mobile. It's a Perpetuum Mobile. Uh, it works automatically. It starts, it works and it keeps on going. And it doesn't cost any energy to be put in. But there's energy coming out of it. Strange, eh? Ah, that's a Perpetuum Mobile. And, uh, the vacuum room, that's, that is my idea. I'm so surprised that Robert Ball this didn't know this. But I, I knew it, I knew it when I saw the problem. Okay, see you later, bye bye.